we learned from the best that the only way to do a podcast is to have no freaking clue on what you're doing. Exactly. So I think just, we're, we're, we're right where we need to be. Start it. Here it is, the 15-minute morning show podcast. We got a room full. Good God, how do we cram all these people in one room? We got <laughs> Gandhi. Oh my, it, it, who is that? Joan. Joni. Joni's here. I, I knew it was her because her jewelry told me so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Her. This is Joan. We'll explain why Joan's here in a second. And there's Scary. Hi. There's Garrett. Hello. There's Scotty B in the cereal box room. Hello. Here's uh, Danielle. Hello. And Justina Valentine. Hello. <laughs> What's poppin'? This thing started. You had no idea that we had guests today, but Hello. we do. So Justina, of course, and Joni, they're here. Uh, we're talking about Forget About Christmas. The new movie uh, that Justine is bringing us, which is coming out on the 21st on VH1. That's right. Very excited. I'm playing multiple characters. And, you know, we've we've mentioned it before. Uh, Elvis was supposed to be in part one. We couldn't quite lock him in, but he will be in part two. And I love the new, I love the new, like, do. Yeah, you know, sometimes you, to control the lice, you have to, like, shave it all and off. It, <laughs> and believe me, I know. I had lice as a kid. And I was like, Mom, I got all these bugs in my head. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nasty. Okay, you yeah. a lice kid. Let's oh, yeah. yeah. Start, Who didn't have lice at some point? Let's start with Justina's problem with lice as a child. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And then move forward. Yeah. <laughs> So how did you discover the? the, the I was the, I was bugging out. The school, <laughs> the school nurse, uh, Justina Valentine, please come to the school nurse's yes. office. Yes, and the thing is, like as a kid, like you know, you you just you have no, um, I think, knowledge of germs. Like nowadays, I'm a germaphobe. Like you will not catch me opening up a door. I'm using my shirt. I'm kicking doors open. I don't want to touch anything. Right. But you know, like back in the day when you're a kid, you're just like using everyone's brushes. You need a random toothbrush. You don't know what it is. You're using it. So yeah, you know, I think you're. Your head just gets itchy. I always had like some thick ass hair, and then you just end up with bugs in your head. Have we taken that too far though? Are we being too clean? You know, I think like COVID kind of brought us there because, you know, at one point they're like, ah, if you touch something, you can get COVID. And then later they're like, oh, it's not as like transferable just from like when objects. We were washing our groceries? Yes. Yes. Like, the groceries yes. Are coming in and there I am with the sanitizing of my groceries. Like, yes. Life's like, holding down the cans. Yes. We would get home and wash our soap. What? Yeah, no, it was it, so, so it was first, insane. When COVID first mm. hit, I, I got a box of wine from like Rochester, New York, and that's where like the epicenter was at first. We put it in our shed for like weeks to kill any type of freeze out. We insane. didn't know, but now it's crazy. It's, but now you are more germaphobe than ever. Well, I and, and it all started with lice. Yeah, it all started with lice. But I will tell you something that I think I learned in the experience of like quarantining. You do. Some germs are good because when you quarantine for a while, then you go back out into the world. I feel like when everything opened back up and we started filming seasons again and we went back on tour, I swear I was getting sick. And I was like, my immune system, I feel like, is not as strong because I'm not touching the dirty yep. doorknobs and having people breathe on me and so on and so forth. But now that I've been out for some time, I feel like my immune system is back up. You're also giving me yeah. G-Eazy vibes, Garrett. All right. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. What are we talking about? That hair is perfectly quaffed. Anyone, but they say anyone who's ever partied at a phone party in Cancun probably has a very strong immune. Oh, that's, that's yeah. You. <laughs> you you can't even catch COVID if you've had a phone party in Cancun. <laughs> you started COVID. All the other diseases are in line before COVID. Yeah. He so the moral of the story is to go lick an ATM keyboard today. <laughs> yeah, well, literally. Gandhi. So Gandhi yes. and Justina are starting their podcast today. After this podcast, they're going to start their own podcast. And do you have any idea what you're doing? I mean, we, for the first time, started kicking around some ideas last night about what we wanted to talk about. And on then the we were eve, like, on the morning before. Yeah, like, for, like 4 a.m. last night. Yeah. I mean, it was it was really late, and we're like, oh, this would be good. Oh, this would be good. This would be good. I don't know. So we'll just, you know, turn on the mics and see where it goes. That's Hope it. for the best. Um, clearly, she <laughs> looks beautiful, so I have to wait for my hair and makeup to come in and do something with my face. Oh, girl, please, you look like oh, a million stop. bucks. Stop. And we stop just, it. we learned from the best that the only way to do a podcast is to have... No freaking clue on what you're doing. Exactly. So I think just, we're, we're we're right where we just need to be. Start it. That's, just they start. say the only yeah. way to start a podcast is well, just start it. It's kind of right. like anything else. Like I just started um, going to the gym, and I literally can't walk. I am so sore. I have to put my hands down on the toilet, uh, which I I did at the toilet here. So I got my germs for the day. Yeah. Like I can't sit. I'm so sore. But it's like the only way to do something that you know is just to get it started and go and figure it out. So I say all the time, we just, just have to start. jump in. That's just it. We're going to fuck it up, and it's going to be fine. Anything in life. Yeah. That's all. Start. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Wish that's us it. luck. Let's go. Now, so, yeah. is there anything that's going to get us in trouble? Anything you don't want us to talk about? In a podcast? No, that's the beauty of a podcast. You can say words like fuck. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard you say, say it again.
again. What? <laughs> Shit, because I'm always used to hearing you in the morning. Well, I know. Legally, we can't say the F word, and Shit. I say the F word. Or shit. We can't say that on air because we're regulated by the government. But here on podcasts, pfft. that's insane. Hearing you say fuck is like hearing Oprah say fuck. You don't just don't expect it because we're so used to like you know just hearing you guys. You know, be real and tell it how it is, but do it in a clean well, way. No one uses foul language in this room more than Danielle. Yeah, yeah. Danielle, the let's fuck go. They just fly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how we get through the course of an hour on our show without Danielle letting. How do you slip. do it? I'm very. I don't know. Bite I'm your only, tongue. I have cursed twice um, because I said in 25 my, years in my head. I said, "Don't say shit. Don't say shit. Right. Don't say shit." And then I said, "Shit." <laughs> That's what happens. Do you guys have it all like um like so when I've done live stuff uh for MTV and stuff like I've done TRL and there is like a 10 or 15 second yes. um lag. So do you guys have that? Yeah, we the have delay. That. Okay, so yeah. we have a button. It's called the dump button. And Got we it. have layers of it, not just one. Got so it. So if you okay. say if you say shit, and we'll go, "Ah, oh, can't say the brown word," and we'll push dump and it'll erase it. And then if you say it again, we ah, we push it again. Got it. Okay, and, and you have someone it. specifically no. doing that? No, it's us. It's it's us. us. Oh, you have to do it. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we do jump it. for that button right there. But right now, don't have to do it. But what if you say it and you press the button after? How is that deleting it? You know what it does? We are delayed anyway. Okay. okay. When you hear us on the on when you hear us in our in your car, for instance, right. It's about fifteen seconds after we say got it. it mm-hmm. Okay. Right? So when I push that button, it rewinds back like seven seconds. Yeah. Got it. Think okay. of it as radio DVR. And Got you're just it. forwarding and you just jump forward. Jump Got forward. it. And then That's you just got. block out that word. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I still don't understand the technology, but well, all we know is we're told is it works. There it is. Yeah. Or else you get fined by who? Like FCC or somebody. Yeah. 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 But, you know, there are still some TV networks that don't use delay. Mm, uh, right. And some of the big ones. NBC. They don't have a delay. Look so we were at the fly. Today Show one day, and this old actress who's no longer alive said the word fuck. And they were like, uh, what do we do? Yeah. Uh, nothing. We just there's on. nothing you can do if it's the, real time. The fuck like, flew, and there's no way to bring it back. When we were broadcasting like one of our concerts, I was in like the, the trailer that had the dump button. The dump truck. And it was one of the rap. One of the rappers was singing. Nicki Minaj. Oh my gosh! Every other word out of his mouth was like "fuck" and "shit." The guy was like, "We don't have uh, enough. Uh, Someone Lil, bring in more." Lil Wayne. Oh my gosh! Was it Lil Wayne. They yeah, yeah, needed yeah. more dump it buttons. It was crazy. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. It's he he worked for his uh, salary that day. <laughs> Danielle has the dirtiest mouth, I think, of everybody in here. Yeah. But she's the nicest, like, sweetest person of everybody in here Aww, too. Aww. It makes no sense. Make it make sense. I don't yeah, get it. I, I don't agree with that. Oh, when okay. I say when I say curse words, like even my kids will say, "Mommy doesn't say it in a way where she's like telling you off, like fuck you." She like says it in a fun way, like to emphasize things. So yeah, like, like I had the fucking best hear. time. Right, it's exactly. not like fuck you, bitch. It's right. I know what you mean. It's not really at a person. You're just using it as a, a descriptive. It's exactly. an adjective. Thank oh. you. Danielle's isn't like Thank fuck you. you. It's <laughs> fuck you. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same <laughs> sentence, different meaning, different inflection. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We've covered a lot so far. Yeah, we We've covered a lot of bases. All right, so back to this podcast. Yes. You and yes. Gandhi, yes. Uh, I love that you're going into this thing with no nervous look. You feel like no. you're just whatever. We're going to get in there and hang out and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. That would be the best podcast. Yeah, we both like chat for a living. Yeah. We're very, um, you know, talkative, loquacious. I don't think, loquacious. Local Throw that in the word. mix. Yeah. Everyone can spell that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. They're going to be like, oh, we're trying to look up this podcast, but how do you spell yeah. loquacious? Um, I think we're both pretty good at chatting, so I don't think I don't think we'll have an issue. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I wish they could just pay you by the word. You'll be billionaires by the Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Billionaires, even. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. I'm really excited. And I appreciate you guys uh, throwing some support behind it. That's so nice of you. Yeah, we're amazing. We're going to keep it a secret. And then whenever we were ready to go, roll it out. But, you know, now everybody knows. Uh, here yes. We go. Well, as yeah. we're sitting here, you didn't hear that hear it on the podcast, but everyone's phone just went. Yeah. 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 yeah what so was that? That's an interview event? reminder. We have an interview reminder. We're getting a notice. We're getting a notice. Oh, Did you get one, too? Oh, I got one, too. JV we, podcast you with Gandhi. Did oh, you guys get the same one? Hey, yeah. <laughs> I got, I got multiples. Isn't it funny when, when everyone's phone buzzes at the same time, you know some shit's going down. Yeah, so right. you're like, uh, is this an hold on. I thought no. right. I had an alert. alert. I was like, well, so last night, apparently on Echo Dots, there's like this static screeching problem. So at, at one o'clock in the morning, I heard a screech like someone was in my house. Out of your Echo Dot? So, so I, I looked it up this morning. There's like some Echo Dot issue where it'll just start screeching randomly and... I, I is that, that dog... was your ex girlfriend breaking in. Oh, okay. <laughs> my dogs were barking in the middle of the night. Is that what that was? Uh, Maybe. It could be. Fucking yeah. Echo Dot. Well, what I was is searching Echo the Dot? house last night thinking someone was in there. It's the 
A L E X. Alexa. Alexa. Yeah. Alexa. Yeah. Alexa. Oh. Shh, don't say Alexa. Oh Sorry. crap. Now, <laughs> if we say Alexa on our show, ten million Alexas go off. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Scotty, you're people? being so quiet in there. I'm sorry. I said Alexa. That's all I said. Yeah. Okay. Scotty's <laughs> having a really good day. He's really excited. He hasn't figured out how to walk through the doors yet, so he's run into that door like three times. But he hit a milestone. He wanted to celebrate. Yes. What milestone what? did you hit? Do you know I bought a pair of jeans yesterday, size 33. I have been 36 since high school. Let's go! Yay! Scotty Yay! Boom Body, yeah. working Most on your body. Oh. You got less? Yeah. <laughs> hey, show Justina what you can do with a banana. Right. I, thought, I thought you were going to tell him to twerk. I was going to say, let's see that new body. And yeah. actually, I already ate my banana. Oh, you should oh. Oh. He deep throats bananas. I was just going to say. Every but morning. I, I swallowed in one bite. Wow. He yeah. took the whole thing down. It is the sub Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Next time I come, I want to have a, a banana deep throating contest with you. Oh, I'll win. Are you he good went. at that too? I mean, I think I'm decent. I don't know if I could <laughs> put it down without chewing at all. I know, that's that's thing. different. You How big me, is your esophagus? You had me to <laughs> use the word bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's really good at it. We're trying to convince him to start an OnlyFans page. He won't do okay. it. Yeah. Oh, I think you'd make a lot of money, Scotty. So nice up. looking guy, deep throating bananas. Yeah. <laughs> There's a market for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Literally. I think very popular. <laughs> okay, so the new holiday movie we want everyone to check out, of course, is called Forget About Christmas. It's premiering December 21st, 8 p.m. East Coast time. On VH1. Yes. What a great place. Viacom, obviously, oh involved because they own VH1. Amazing, yes. So when you get that call, they're like, yeah, we're going to pick up your movie. Do you ever do you ever go like, uh, what the, really? <laughs> well, okay. when I got the call um, that, you know, they were interested, because first we sent them the sizzle, which was comprised of mostly Elvis clips, um, you know, because I knew it'd be, it'd be a big <laughs> selling point. Um, when we first sent them the sizzle and they said that they were interested i was like oh my gosh thank you so much i'm so excited hung up and then just like ran around the house screaming like called the whole team and um you know i just knew even for, the sizzle was so compelling that i'm like they're gonna see the vision and they're gonna just be able to tell how good the movie is gonna be which then we sent the movie maybe like a month later three weeks later but when i got the call that they definitely wanted to acquire it and air it it was just um you know it was um, I would say the cherry on top, but it was more than that. It was a whole banana split of um, <laughs> just having the most amazing year and just seeing like your hard work come to fruition because I'm a hard worker. I am no stranger to the grind. I had to work very, very hard to get here, kicking a lot of doors. But even this project for me, who is used to working very, very hard, was super ambitious, which, you know, it, I think I told you guys when I came on National Women's Day, there was one night I went to sleep. I could not sleep the whole night. And I was like, am I insane? And literally trying to put this like all together independently. And uh, I just woke up in the morning. I was like, fuck it. If I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Let's do it, you know? Cause that's the way to do it. That's the yeah. way to do it. I would have you I would have regretted not doing it. You know, they always say you regret more what you didn't do. I was like, fuck it, we're doing it. If it premieres on YouTube, premieres on YouTube. Let's go. And uh we did it. We we went with our gut and you know, it's literally like a dream come true to be a first time movie maker. The movie came out fucking incredible and to have Viacom acquire it and it's playing on VH1. Excellent. That's Look awesome. at that. Yeah. You know, so awesome. You gotta be careful. Sometimes dreams do come true. I know. <laughs> literally. That's nice. They be careful do. what you dream for. <laughs> yeah. Uh one billion dollars. What was the line from Willy Wonka <laughs> and the Please. Chocolate Factory? We are Ju the music makers. No, that, well, that's <laughs> a good one too. Oh, okay. What happened to the guy? Which one? Whose dreams all came true? He lived happily ever after. Am I in Willy Wonka right now? Yeah, you are. Are you Charlie? Uh, you, no, I'm that. What's his name? Grandpa, Ooh, Grandpa Joe. 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 I'm Grandpa, Grandpa Joe. Joe. <laughs> Who doesn't fucking move until nightgown. suddenly he's yeah, in a chocolate factory? I, I, and he I goes, get what? out of bed with my soiled nightgown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we're gonna find the golden ticket. <laughs> Another so. podcast possibly. I'm just. I'm just. You know, spitballing. <laughs> Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much for Justina having Valentine, me. Yeah. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching or listening or whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs>